Okay, Lady Lily back with another video. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. And I know somebody else asked me what happened to your motivational on um, Wednesdays. So I said I could come on here and do a quick video. Um, because today is going to be stupid busy. When, my Wednesdays are, are jacked up because it's like that's the day, that's the other day of the week I'm on campus in the office and I swear everybody want to have their meetings I teach both of my classes on Wednesdays and it just be crazy and then it's like all this other stuff when I tell you when 4 o'clock rolls around and, and, and I be kapoom I be kapoom <laughs> at that point so uh, yeah, so anyway I just wanted to get on uh, February is over, I hope you had a great Black History Month um, February's are rough for me just because, you know, I, I, I love Black History Month and activities, but it's just so taxing um, to um, put all that stuff together. And the fact that it's not part of my job, per se, it's not in my job description. I'm doing stuff out the kindness of my heart or just the reality. If we don't put it together, it's not going to get done. Um, so, yeah, that type of stuff. But... I'm hoping March will be, I know a lot of people have declared uh, March the month to rebuild, renew, refresh, reshift, all the re, the, the starting over, the, the, the shifting, so I'm all for it for the month of March, and I'm hoping this month I can get back to doing the things, some things that I want to do, um, like write my book, <laughs> you know, because I'm still on chapter three, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, um, what are you doing? I got to um, get the real deal two done, and I'm still stuck on chapter three right now. So, um, yeah, I need time and space to write. It's not people just think, oh, you know this stuff, just slop it up. No, you know, you, like I said, I'm, I'm writing with the young person and the parent in mind. I'm not writing as, you know, at least can read any type of thing and, and deal with it. I'm writing to you know, make it thoughtful, make it entertainment of some sort, you know, that's how I'm writing, so, yeah, so, yeah, that's how I'm trying to write, I hate going down this hill, but, um, yeah, so, anyway, getting back to what, you know, the purpose, um, the inspirational Wednesdays so I was just thinking we're we're in the month of March and um, technically it's a year now we're, we're at a year mark with all this pandemic stuff um, this time last year stuff was starting to shut down and you know people were starting to open their minds up and saying you know what the heck was going on um, so yeah it's it started to become you know a reality so here we are technically a year later and my question is it's been a year are you still making excuses it's been a year are you still blaming others it's been a year what have you learned it's been a year have you pivot it's been a year so what the hell are you going to do moving forward? And I say that now because it's like I come across people. You getting too damn close, truck. God, these trucks be doing the most around here. Is y'all going to turn? Oh, Jesus. And see, this is how accidents happen. And why is you on my butt? These people don't know how to drive or act or Jesus. You in that hurry to go to work? <sighs> anyway, now I'm just thrown off. So anyway, um, as I was saying, it's been a year. Are you still making excuses? Because I be listening to people and listening to people, listen to my students, and I'm like, that don't sound like excuses. I mean, at this point, that just sound like excuses. I'm not doing this because of this. And if I don't get this together because of this. And it's like, that 
blame on that because that ain't happen. This can't happen. If I go do this, I did this. And I'm like, this sounds like excuses. And last I checked, excuses is the tools of the incompetent. Hmm. But what I'm trying to say, I think for me personally, I just made it up in my mind that, and as always, I'm just going to roll up, what is it, roll up your pan strap and, and make it happen. Roll up, what is it, roll up your bootstrap or roll up your pants and you just got to make it happen. And um, as Sarah Jakes Roberts was saying, you got to get messy. So it's just time to get messy, to improve yourself, to work on yourself, to, you know, shift to a different perspective. You got to get messy. It's going to hurt. And I and I, I understand that because I, too, feel like I'm going through my growing pains. Because I think I post some on, on, on um, social media, on Facebook, saying God must be doing, must be getting ready to do something because I feel like I've been, been tested, stretched, and challenge and I said the growing pay, pains of 2021 I mean it's not a total it's not a terrible thing but anytime when you feel like you're being stretched and challenged and poor that means something something's um, you know I don't know if something's uh, something gonna something has to break or something but yeah, I notice I'm going through the growing pains, but it all goes back to what Sarah J. Sprouse said. You got to get messy. You got to do the work. You got to get messy. So I find myself like I'm just doing the work. I'm just doing what I got to do. And I'm seeing God's provisions along the way. Um, like I said, every time I think I get to that point of a int, a doubt, or fear creeps in. It seems like God just shows up to say, "Uh, uh-uh, nope, we're not gonna, not gonna do that today." So, um, but when are you gonna just stop doing the excuses? And I mean, it's one thing to hear my young people's excuses, but some of y'all old, y'all old with the excuses. Yeah, you're just old. And then, you know, people say, well, you know, the older you get, the more set in your ways. Okay, but you still need to challenge and pull yourself up and stretch yourself. You just can't sit back and just say, well, if this not going to do this, I ain't going to do it. No. Challenge yourself to make it do it. You know, if you don't have the money to do something, go find it. Talk to God about it. God, can you give me the means to do A, B, and C? This is what I'm trying to do. And in the meantime, go talk to some people. Let them know what you're doing. You don't know what blessings might be unturned. You don't know what people might bless you and help you out with. You don't know. Because people might want to see you reach your goal. Or they might want to contribute to what you're doing. You don't know. So, I say this to say, just stop. Just stop it with the excuses. Stop it with the blaming. you got to go look at yourself and see what you're doing wrong. Cause I, I can look at myself, at least I ain't perfect by by a long shot. Cause I know my mom said, you know, sometimes people be jealous of me for what? Cause I'm imperfect, honey, baby, I'm not 100%, you know? And it's not me talking myself down, but it's just realizing that I am human. So when you realize you are human, what the hell is going on with all these police? Or is this just Evergreen Park? Ain't got nothing to do. Mm-mm, it's like three, three, yeah, three police cars. What the heck going on over here? I'm trying to get in to get my Duncan. Damn, they got three police cars surrounded by this one car. Mm, okay. Interesting. Oh, they got him sitting on the curb. Hmm. I'm trying to see what color he is. I guess I'll find that out when he um when I get out the car. Because I can't see. He's sitting. But I'm gonna check out and see what color he is and just make sure. Cause they show got three police cars surrounded by him. And they are searching his car right now. But um, yeah, so I'ma stop there.
you know, make moves, not excuses. It's been a year. Let's turn this thing around. If you get the shot, you don't get the shot, whatever you do, play it, um, play it responsible. Be safe, wear a mask, social distance. Let's continue to work on this thing and stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a blessed day and hopefully the rest of your week will be blessed as well. Peace out.